Okay, we're back with, uh, oh, Jesus, it's all out of focus, or is that my site, sorry. No, I was telling a gross ER story. A gross what? A gross ER story. Oh, I don't care. Talk about that. Okay. okay. Anyhow, we're back with uh, OHNL. We're making a stand at HPD for the arrest of Trish Morikawa, uh, the, the head of uh, housing for the houseless. And then we are also making a stand against our, for uh, the director of civil engineering, which is also the head of Department of Facility Maintenance to uh, have him arrested, both of which is because of uh, of stuff that took place earlier in the day, and uh, then we ended up having an occupier that was assaulted here on the premise. Uh, we're at the uh, main entrance of HPD inside their metal detector. <laughs> So it's been an interesting thing. Go back. Uh, we've had several long segments of uh, Ustreaming here and uh, a lot of good talks, a lot of interesting insights and uh, things that's taken place. And, uh, hear what uh, each of the actors feel about what's going on here. Let me get a look at HVD. Let's see, we have, uh, whew, God, this is, okay, here in front of HPD, at the Honolulu Police Department, we have the Hawaiian flag over top of the flag for the police department saying integrity, respect, and fairness. Today's events earlier uh, that took place at Thomas Square on day 277 of the longest encampment in the world, <laughs> they decided to go against the laws that they've created to try and go after us because we still was able to trump their laws and uh, still was able to maintain the integrity of our camp and be within the law to uh, be able to stay there, they uh, decided to go against their own laws and confiscate everything within the camp. And um, with uh, prior, actually with uh, prior notification by witnessing us removing every item out of the occupied camp, phone and screwed it all up. It keeps cutting in and out now. This is setting. Mm -mm. No, this is a setting inside the phone that I know what setting it is, but why anybody was there, I don't understand. I had your phone in my hands for a couple of minutes. Um, I don't think that they did anything mm -hmm. weird with it. Can I have a Yeah. But uh, anyhow, um, they had prior knowledge of uh, that, that watching us take and remove the stuff. We had 24 hours to remove it, otherwise they would confiscate it. We removed it and placed different items there. So they decided to take that stuff which is against the law, and uh, so we're, hold, we're calling for Trish Morikawa and uh, Wesley Chun, two cabinet members under uh, Mayor Carlisle, to have them arrested for theft, and we're going to stay here and occupy the PD inside the police station until they do justice and uh, arrest them. <laughs> and it's been a pretty interesting uh, action. A lot of good... Uh, a lot of good talks. A lot of good things have come out of this action, I believe, so far. What do you What do you think? Well, I found out that uh, HPD has a unisex bathroom, and I'm very happy about that personally. Like, really? You know, like fuck the police and all that. How did you like, find that out? Well, I had to I had to go in to give an uh, interview with the internal affairs people or whatever they're called. Um, so so they have a male and female and a unisex? Well, I just saw a women's bathroom and a unisex bathroom over here on the side, so I went into the unisex bathroom because it's like, oh my god, unisex bathroom! Well, there bathroom. you go, right? Yeah, so I was pretty stoked on that, actually. Yeah, you were actually having a discussion about that earlier. I mean, that's all I ever talk about is bathrooms. <laughs> yeah. I, just, I just want to get toilets to put in camp, actually. Well, that's a camp so badly. Uh, it looks like shit. So we need the proper receptacles. 
Yeah. Well, we, we've we had several discussions brought up about this action. There's a lot of people that like this action. They're very surprised. Like, uh, we had one individual out of New York City saying that if uh, this action was to take place there, they'd be arrested in 20 seconds. Yeah. Well, you know, that's just... That's just another thing that shows that there is definitely a totally different culture here and the way things are handled. And though we're pushing on the standards of this area and how the community operates, they're trying to work within each other. This action isn't specifically uh, against uh, HPD themselves, that it's actually against the cabinet members that is breaking the law, you know. Yeah, I mean, like, I'm not going to, I'm not going to enter into, like, a conversation about it, like, suicide, please, uh, because I don't, but this action is definitely about wanting the police to do their jobs more effectively than they do. Exactly. Did, what the hell happened to my phone? Someone changed the setting in this thing, and it keeps shutting off on me. Here, guys, let me, uh, reset this. I'm gonna be back and figure out what setting got changed.